Hello and welcome to the second match of the SAF Under-19 Women's Championship 2024. It is between hosts Bangladesh and they take on Nepal at the Beer Stretch to Shohid Mustafa Kamal Stadium here in Kamlapur in Dhaka. The match will begin at 7 p.m. Earlier on the day, we had one match where India absolutely demolished Bhutan by 10 goals to nil and as a result of which they are at the top of the group having played one and won one whereas Bhutan are at the very bottom with a minus 10 goal difference both teams are getting ready on the sidelines for this match Bangladesh and Nepal as we can see both the flags are on the ground and both teams are going to prepare themselves for their respective national anthems in a bit. I'm your commentator Shanu Rabbani for this match and this tournament and you can watch us both on BTV on your televisions and also online on Sportsworks's YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the teams of Nepal and Bangladesh. Please, let's stand up for the national anthem of Nepal. Shudhi Dashok, apna the Nepal air jatiyo shongi der poti dariye shaman production korar jono onurod janano jatche. Now the national anthem of Bangladesh. Shudhi Doshok, Bangladesh er jatiyo shongi der poti dariye shomman production korar jonno apna derke onurod janano jatche.
we expect a very very vibrant and entertaining affair here lots of people have turned up at the ground at the Biri Shreshto Shohei Chipai Mustafa Kamal Stadium in Dhaka's Kamalapur we can see both teams are quite eager to put on a good show the first match was quite a one-sided match and uh, this one hopefully will be a much more competitive one for the host's sake they will want to get off to a winning start the top two teams in the group will reach the final so as you can see the Nepal playing 11 Sujata Tamang Sara Ganga Simran Rai Shukriya Mia Barsha Oli Maya Maske Senu Priyar Chaudhri and Chuma Vishwakarma and for Bangladesh Shana Rani Mondol Hondokar Joyna Bibirita Shurma Jannat Munki Akhtar Shapna Rani Shagurika Puja Dash Umela Marma and Iti Khatun along with Bonna Khatun making the first 11. Bangladesh definitely will start this match off as slight favorites. They've got some names that did well in the last year as well. The likes of uh, Shagurika, Pujadash, Joino Bibirita. All of them were part of the under 17 women's team that played here last year. They form a strong team in age level women's football Bangladesh have been seeing success in recent times. And the fans have turned up. They expect the local team to do well. underway Nepal starting things off in possession throw in for Bangladesh early on in the uh, proceedings Nepal pressing quite hard Early on, Iti Khatun being charged here. And once again, Nepal find the ball in a dangerous position. But well defended there. Danger averted for the time being. Nepal once again looking good here in attack. The number nine, Shukriya Mia. She had a good tournament last year. And she's back once again. Sarah Bajajaria, the uh, captain of the Nepal under 19 team. Another throw in, and this time it's taken long by John Abibirita. Back to back throw ins for Bangladesh. And they're making their way forward with these uh, long throw-ins. The crowd appreciating it. This time Nepal manages to keep the ball in, but it's in the D-box through a cross. And Shagurika was the target. She couldn't control it, unfortunately. Into the second 
minute of play. Both teams yet to really get a foothold of the proceedings so far. Sujata Tamang, the Nepal goalkeeper. Now this time Bangladesh looking to break away from a dangerous position. Nepal's defense holding strong so far. Now they might look to counter. So far a tense few tussles between both teams in the early proceedings. Angarokaya will throw in. Fail to control it. So Bangladesh will get their throw in now. Iki Kato throws it long. Seems to be a strength of Bangladesh. Even in the men's team, we see the throw ins being long and very effective. One of the nice pass through. The target was Joanna Bibirita. Unfortunately, had too much on it. Sends a throw in from Nepal. Which they can't keep in. Lots of throw ins we've seen in the early proceedings, and the referee deems there to be a foul. Varman Kanika. Bangladesh getting all their players in. Chakna Rani to take the free kick. Plenty of bodies, plenty of uh, green inside the D box. Waiting for that first goal. There. It was a very difficult delivery for the goalkeeper Sujata Tamang to deal with. She got one hand to it and eventually it ricocheted off the crossbar. It hit the crossbar twice, in fact, of uh, the header of the attacker as well. And now Nepal looked to break away and counter, but Bangladesh quickly regained possession. See the first assistant referee. Now you along. Bangladesh once again looking to attack. And to deal with the loose ball here in the ball. And they make sure that it's away from a dangerous position. Now they might look to counter. with that early chance. Now looking to create something here from the right side. It's Puja Dash. She controls it well. The target was Shokna Rani. But well defended once again by Nepal. And now they might counter from the left. Virsana Chodri from Nepal failing to control it. And now very well done by Nepal. Getting into good spaces. The Bangladesh's defense remains solid. The back line of Afrida Khandokar, Joyna Bibirita, Shurma Jannat and Munki Akhtar along with the goalkeeper Sharna Rani Mondo. Doing a good job so far. So much on that. Passes it forward. And that's excellent from Shagurika. We saw her skill last year as well. And now this is an opportunity and a very good stop by the goalkeeper, Sujata Kamang. Shagurika is playing. Her skill and wizardry early on in the uh, match. 
might be an offside, and it is. And you see, that was the opportunity for Minki Akhtar. Perhaps if she got her shot away to the left of the keeper, Bangladesh would have found themselves one nil ahead. But as things stands, it's goalless. We've seen a plethora of throw-ins already in the first 10 minutes. And it will be another throw-in. Bangladesh don't seem to mind that. quite like the idea of moving the ball forward through throw-ins and now Nepal have an opportunity to hit Bangladesh on the break this time Maya Maske gets her pass in but once again cannot reach the defenses of the host join up Bibirita doing a good job there now from the left Bangladesh look to build Playing it back. Shuma Jannat. And Jiti Khatun. Another keeper, Sharnarani Mondo, getting involved. Afida Khandogar. Checking her options. And eventually giving it back to the keeper. Nine very entertaining minutes so far with Bangladesh having good moments in the early proceedings and now once again from the right side Shagurika fails to control it this time and there seems to be a foul there on Chapna Munki Akhtar had the best chance of the match, we have to say. From that Chagurika through ball. Now another free kick for Bangladesh. He did create a fantastic chance for a free kick earlier on. Shoknarani taking the direct route and ending up hitting the crossbar. This time it's an opportunity once again, but again the header is a bit too heavy. Afrida can't uh, get on to the end of it. Simran Rai for Nepal. Looking to take the uh, free kick. An interesting move. Seeing goalkeepers generally take the kicks from the D box, and now that's not a good free kick it's straight to the Bangladesh players and eventually Nepal deal with it things don't get too messy for them yet but Bangladesh once again in attack from the right looking to build we saw some crisp passing between the Indian under 19 team players in the opening encounter when they took on Bhutan and defeated them 10-0. Six goals coming in the second half. Four in the first. Once again we see a free kick this time for Nepal. Sujata Tamang this time does a better job. In the end, you have to say that both teams are looking to get more control. 
Giannis and really building anything substantial. Bangladesh having two really good chances nonetheless. One from a free kick and one from a transition. But both teams still looking to find that extra bit of control that they'd like. Bangladesh now trying to play out from the back. As you can see, some good passing ends in a throw in. Nepal have been very good at closing down the spaces, not letting Bangladesh pass it as well as they'd like. This time the throw in doesn't reach its desired destination but nonetheless it's another throw in for Bangladesh and from a much better position Iti Khatun takes it short this time puts a cross in will there be an opportunity inside the D-box there are a few players the shot does go in and just wide of the post Puja she had an opportunity It was a loose ball. There was good connection there from Puja. And just wide. Three very good chances for Bangladesh in the early exchanges. But the score remains nil-nil. Will they rule these misses? Down the line, only time will tell. back pass straight to the defender and the Bangladesh defense quite adept at playing out from the back it seems all the defenders liking to pass among each other and trying to build play rather than taking the root one and once again the lion's share of position belonging to the hosts they're playing some good football now. I was talking about which team would want to take more control and Bangladesh seem to be getting a grasp of the tempo of this game. Passing it along and Nepal having to play the waiting game. This time though Nepal do get the ball in Bangladesh's own half from a misplaced pass. But once again, it ends with Bangladesh taking back control. Bonna Khatun passing it down and across the ground. Once again, in midfield, she'll have an important job to do. Very interesting formation. As we can see, almost a 4-2-4 formation at times. Two in midfield, four in attack. And the four players in defense in possession with Bangladesh have the ball. This time now Nepal. Can they conjure up something? The pass isn't very good, but there is a player going after it. But well dealt with by Jana Bibirita. Passes it back to the keeper. This time in midfield. No team really finding that control that they'd want in midfield. But Bangladesh, there's a clear strategy. Either you pass it amongst yourselves or if you get throw-ins, make sure that the throw-ins are good so that you can progress the ball forward. And Bangladesh have certainly done that. This time... Shapna Rani tries to bring the ball forward but is met with more Nepal bodies and now Nepal looking to counter. Once again, the counter doesn't have enough pace. But that's another misplaced pass. And Nepal once again with their number nine, Shukriya Nia. Attacking forward. Iti 
Ha Tung. She's been involved in this match so far. Not the best of decisions by Shagorika on that occasion. Trying to move the ball forward when there was a passing option on the right. And he will once again take the throw in. I've lost count of the number of throw-ins we've had in the uh, match so far. I can think they're over the number 20. And now this is an opportunity for Bangladesh. Inside the D box but passed back. The cross comes in but the goalkeeper is alert. Sujata Tamang does her job. Munki Akhtar, Bangladesh's number six, getting into dangerous positions from time to time. Now this is an opportunity now. Shagurika from the right. There is a tackle on her and what does the referee say? The referee says it's a penalty. It's a penalty for Bangladesh. No, it's not a penalty. The referee has decided that it will be a goal kick. But that was a tough challenge on Shagurika. Very interesting decision by the referee, Bormon Kanika. Because from where we're sitting, it looked like Chagurika was fouled inside the D-box. Puja now once again looking to find Chagurika and uh, it will be another throw in for the hosts. Niki Khatun with a lot of uh, effort in her throw wins and now Bangladesh have an opportunity the shot is just over the bar that would have been some goal by Pooja had that gone in she pounced on the loose ball and I believe there was a bit of a deflection which made the ball go over the bar but nonetheless it's a goal kick Bangladesh once again have possession and they're looking more and more likely to score that first goal. Often getting position in dangerous areas. It's Nepal's number 10, Borshaoli couldn't control it. And back with Iti Khatun. Gives it back to Shuma. And then to the keeper, Shonarani Mondol. Now that's not a great pass. Can Nepal make something happen here? This is an opportunity from them. From the left. Some good football there. Borshaoli, unfortunately, couldn't get past the defense of Bangladesh and it was Iti Khatun once again who did the defending she's been involved perhaps Bangladesh's best player in the first half has been Iti Khatun in the first match we saw goals galore India had already scored two goals in the opening 20 minutes so far we're into the 22nd minute and we're yet to see the goal in this match. Nepal now in possession. Once again, it's very good defending. And it's Shopna Rani who does the work. The attacker is coming in to defend, but once again, Nepal have the ball. They need to pass it into a more dangerous area. Good control shown by Shagorika eventually, but then loses out the pass is not on target for Bangladesh piling on the pressure in midfield 
Munki Akhtar passes it forward for a misplaced pass by Umela Marma. Bangladesh looking to make these throw ins count. Divya with the throw in for Nepal. And once again, you can see Bangladesh don't want to give away any sort of control from throw ins, even when they're not taking it. They're very good at defending them. It's an area that they focused on quite a bit. Long ball forward from Shuma Jannat. In towards Shagurika. And now from the left it's Mama once again. Another pass that doesn't find the attacker. Very good work done by Shapna Rani in the middle of the pitch. And then the defenders. They collab Afrida and John Obibirita to ensure Bangladesh keep possession. John Abibirita passing it forward. But there is no one there. Almost in hope. Marma was well back. And Nepal will get a throw in. Divya once again. Not the best of throws. Aim towards one of the Bangladesh players. It's a bit of a tactic that Bangladesh have used to progress the ball forward. Getting a taste of their own medicine on that occasion. This time once again the hosts take back control. Looking to pass it through. But Nepal have been very good at dealing with those through passes. Not allowing Bangladesh any easy passes in a dangerous area. And very good at pressing. It's been very calculated off the ball stuff from the visitors. Very good throw. Once again, Iti Khatun with the throw. But now Nepal have an opportunity from the left. It's Borshaoli. She's going forward, but very well defended by Iti. And now back once again to Shuma Channa. Very good battle on that left side, in fact. With Titi Khatun and uh, Porshaoli of Nepal. Porsha definitely one of the better players in that Nepal setup. And she was the first player to get a hat trick in the last half under 17 championship last year. in the same venue. She got her hat trick against uh, India last time around. The throw in tactic seems to be working for both teams now. Nepal with a few good throw ins themselves, but now ET. Looking to progress the ball forward. The aim is Shagurika. Playing as the striker. And once again, Bangladesh win themselves another throw in. This time Nepal though have possession back. Can they make something happen? Borshaoli doesn't find the space and you can see how well Iti Khatun has done against her left flank's opponent. Nepal once again looking to attack but Bangladesh They're not giving the visitors an inch, but now this time a collision between both players. 
in Bangladesh allowed Nepal a bit of space but they couldn't take advantage of it still they have possession or did have possession now they don't and Bangladesh can build something from it on the right side a nice little back pass by China Bibirita and now Shopna Rani giving it to Iti Khatun the first touch lets her down Puja Dash on the right side trying to put pressure on two Nepal defenders but deal with it very well once again this time Shagurika she had the ball but she was fouled before she got the ball goes in the favor of Divya looking to take the free kick. In charge of free kicks and in throw ins, it seems. Divya Yasmali Magar. And once again, it's another throw in, and this time it's a throw in for Nepal. We're entering the half hour mark almost. And the score is still nil nil. Keep in mind, each team plays each other twice before playing in the final and the team with the most number of points. The first two teams with the most number of points, in fact, will play in the final. More possession for the hosts. Shuma Janna. Passes it forward. Shagurika on the right side. Well controlled on this occasion by Iti Khatun. Bangladesh had their opportunities in the first few minutes, in the first 15 minutes in fact. For the last 15, it's been more even heel and Nepal have found a footing in this match. Romela Marma looking to progress the ball forward from the left side. And Bonna Khatum dispossessed on that occasion, but still Bangladesh find a way in midfield. Munni Akhtar. Chagorika. Once again, Nepal realizing the danger that's looming, and they've been marking her very well, the Nepal defenders and their captain, Sara Bhadracharya. She's been doing a good job. In fact, we spoke about the Bangladesh back five, the Nepal back five have also done a good job in the last 10-15 minutes and that's not a good goal kick not a good kick at all from Shona Rani Mondo just kicking it completely and handing Nepal an easy throw in Bangladesh finding possession once again in midfield can they build something the two pass has a lot on it but it's well guided in the end Marma, she couldn't find the cross though, very well defended by Divya. You have to say that Bangladesh now find themselves in a position from where they could have attacked, but Nepal find it again, looking to hit on the counter. But very good defending, very good marking by the hosts ensuring that a fast break was averted that's excellent work by Shopna in midfield she's been doing a very good job E.T. once again with the ball passes it back 
সুরমা জান্নাত স্বপ্নার রানী সেকেন্ড নীতি স্বর্ণারানী মন্ডল দ্য কিপার কামস ফরওয়ার্ড स्टैंड The ball eventually does go out and it will be a corner kick for Bangladesh. The crowd getting bigger and bigger here. At the Kamalapur Stadium, the British Shreshto Shohit Sipahi Mustafa Kamal Stadium. Shabna Rani to take the corner. Going to the 34th minute. Can Bangladesh find the breakthrough? The corner is taken, but it's not a good one. Shabna Rani. She's had a mixed game, in fact. Some really good moments in midfield. Not some really good moments in the opposition half, especially in and around the D-box of Nepal's. with possession and they build they're moving forward but once again well defended by Shurma Jannat and now Umela Marma passes it back to Sharna Rani Mandal Jannat Jadash and the ball goes out for a throw in Bangladesh once again getting themselves into a good position EP with the pass forward inside the tee box and now Nepal they can break got possession and they've lost possession Shukriya Mia not really finding much control good, good skill shown there by Marma she moves forward on the left flank gets the cross in can the shot be made eventually Nepal deal with the danger very very well have been fouled there the ref also signals that it will be a free kick for Nepal and they're getting their players forward it's been an entertaining first half so far despite the lack of goals Lots of chances for the home team. The hosts of this South Under-19 Women's Championship, Bangladesh. Once again, Nepal getting a throw in from the free kick. Divya takes the throw in. Now just deal with it. Only to give away another throw in. Once again Nepal finding some possession in midfield. 
Can they make it count though? Bangladesh looking for that ball, the two ball for Shagovika. She has it inside the D box. She needs a bit of support though. And the cross comes in. Very good defending from Nepal for a change. The keeper had it, but the defender thought otherwise. But they're unscathed. Anticipation. Sunna Khatun passes it back to Shapna Rani. And now Joyna Bibirita gives it forward to Narma. Good work, Senu Priyar on this occasion. And finally, Shumaganda passes it to her defender. And Bangladesh once again have possession and are looking for that goal. And now Shagurika finds herself at the edge of the D box. Now. Puja with the shot, but just over the bar. That was a brilliant opportunity. She just needed to have her shot on target. Didn't get the right connection. Plenty of fans here coming to witness the football on a Friday. On a Friday evening, the weather is nice as well. And now this is another opportunity for Bangladesh. And it goes in. Shamarika with the goal. She finds the back of the net. Bangladesh 1. Nepal 0. Fans have a reason to celebrate as the hosts take the lead in the first half. Shagurika finding herself in the right position, using her strength, dealing with the loose ball, and then just putting it over the keeper to make sure they take the lead. And in the 40th minute, Bangladesh go ahead, courtesy of a Shagurika goal. Nepal, they'll have to change their plans, that's for sure. They've been sitting back a bit. <laughs> Nepal looking to have more possession from the left. Once again. Not been a one-sided affair like the first match. And now Bangladesh looking to break once again. An attack from the left now. Marma gives it back to Shopna Rani. Her ball though is a bit too long for Munki Akhtar. And the goalkeeper Vijata Tamang deals with it on this occasion. Loose ball eventually dealt with by Iti. But goes out of play. Nepal will find themselves with a throw in taken quickly. Can they make something happen now after going a goal down? Bangladesh, though, they thoroughly deserved that lead. Really have played the better football attacked more, created more chances. Could have been two or three goals ahead had some of the balls not hit the crossbar and gone out of play. This time they're looking for the second. The two ball is there, but the goalkeeper might win it, and she does. And they're asking for the shot. This is an opportunity. And it's goal number two. Bangladesh find the second goal. Munti Akhtar. She's 
the one. She's the scorer of the second goal. The goalkeeper Sujata Tamang came off her line, trying to defend. She was making her way back when Muntiaka saw it and took a brilliant shot over the defender's head. Divya, she was the last defender in front of goal. And Munki made sure it went over her head. And now the hosts take control of this match. Two goals in the space of three minutes for Bangladesh. And they're looking good for more. They're energized after scoring that second. Immediately you can see the attackers rushing forward, looking to press Nepal. create something some good passing on this occasion from the Nepal players but eventually very well dealt with by the Bangladesh defender Joanna Bibirita and Shurma Jannat who combined to deal with this another attack this time the ball cleared away by John Abhigirita and it will be a throw-in for Nepal. After conceding the second goal, they seem to be a bit more aggressive. Looking for their first goal. If Bangladesh get the third, you feel it's game set and match for the hosts. The first corner for Nepal in this match. Their captain, Sarah, she will take it. Sarah Vachacharya. It's a good corner. Nepal still finding the ball in possession, but Bangladesh deal with it. Now Shagurika passes towards Marma. It's not a great pass. And Bangladesh find themselves with the ball once again. Now Marma is there on the left flank. There is wide open spaces in front of her. Shagurika is in the middle. And it's well defended eventually by Nepal. But no, Bangladesh have it once again. This could be the third. Deals with the decent, decent attack that Bangladesh had. Two minutes of additional time have been added. Nepal, can they get one back or will Bangladesh score a third? You feel there's going to be one more goal before the halftime. Things have really kicked up a notch in the last 10 minutes. hosts they will be happy with the two goal lead but they look hungry for more and you saw Marma almost scoring on that occasion the amount of chances Bangladesh have created now this is another one if Shagarika gets on the end of it she does and Pooja is in the middle now is there a foul yes this time it's a foul and the referee points to the spot See once again, is it inside the box? Yes, it is. So, Bangladesh on the brink of half time. Find themselves with a penalty. Plenty of players coming forward. The goalkeeper though, Kujata Taman is the one who places the ball now, here's a chance 
for Afida Kondogar to put Bangladesh three goals to the good. Afida, the captain of the team, is taking the penalty. Fans waiting in anticipation. Referee Borman Tanika sets everything up, makes sure all the players are behind the line apart from the penalty. Quick taker and it hits the bar. The captain Avida Khandogar ends up missing her penalty. There was an opportunity after missing the penalty as well, but that kick was saved by the goalkeeper. Sujata Tamang as we see once again Chakurina in fact were on the end of it a very very entertaining first half comes to an end Bangladesh could have found themselves four or even five goals ahead but they are ahead in the first 45 minutes, it's Nepal 0, Bangladesh 2 in the SAF Under-19 Women's Championship 2024. It is halftime at the Bir Sreshto Shohid Shipahi Mustafa Kamal Stadium in Komlapur. We'll be back with the second half's action in a short while. Stay tuned.
Welcome back for the second half between Bangladesh under-19 and Nepal under-19 women's team in the South under-19 women's championship 2024. In the first half, Bangladesh went ahead with two goals and they could have scored more. The captain missed a penalty right before halftime. And at this moment, Nepal have a, a chance, they have an opportunity to get back in this match. Bangladesh though have thoroughly dominated proceedings. They could have had four or five goals the way they played. We're live from the beer stretch to Shohit Sipahi Mustafa Kamal Stadium in Dhaka Skamlapur. And I'm your commentator, Shahnu Rabbani, and I will guide you along the way for the next 45 minutes and whatever extra time is added on and throughout this tournament. Bangladesh kickoff in the second half. Looking to make more inroads. They need more goals, you feel, given the way they've played. The finishing and perhaps a bit of luck has let them down on three occasions the bar and the sidebar was hit it's a throw in early on in the second half for Nepal what's very interesting is the way both teams have set up and the tactics from both sides with Bangladesh clearly being the protagonists in this match and looking to play with a lot more possession whereas Nepal looking to hit on the counter and doing a lot of good job closing in the passing lanes and pressing very nicely to defend this time though Bangladesh looking for an early attack in the second half. Afrida, the captain, she missed the penalty. You feel if Nepal get one, there might be a twist in the tail here. And for that to not happen, Bangladesh will have to completely dominate the second half like they did in the first. A lot of good work was done by the Bangladesh defenders in the first half. And now from the left flank, Again, you see Nepal dealing very well with the attacks from Bangladesh. Marma, she's had a mixed bag in the match so far. Some good moments in attack, in dribbling, and then mixed with some misplaced passes as well. That's Puja. And passed back. And it's the goal scorer Shagurika. She scored the opening goal. And the second goal was scored by Shopna Rani. This time this could have been difficult for the keeper and eventually the ball does go out of play. But I believe the ref awards a free kick in Nepal's favor. Shagurika wanted to contest the duel with the goalkeeper Sujata Tamang and only managed to concede a foul.
Sujata Daman telling her defender, Maya Maske, something. Yes, the shoelaces need time. Nepal just trying to slow down the tempo of this match. Perhaps make Bangladesh wait a bit longer for their next goal. And once again, it is a physical, physical battle there in midfield. Join of Bibirita. Not giving an inch of space to the Nepal players. Once again, getting stuck in. That's what you want to see. Players giving it their all. 110% for the national team. This time, this could be a very important attack. Marma goes for the shot. And eventually, it's still inside the D-box. Mama had a really good opportunity to score from that position, but completely mishit her shot. But Bangladesh still finding themselves in attack. Looking for that throw in. There'll be a Nepal throw in though. have a good position to score from but fortunately Munki Akhtar can't control the ball and in fact it's Munki Akhtar who got that the second goal Shafna Rani had her moments as well in front of the goal failed to score and the front three of the hosts they've done a very good job so far for the most part that through ball had way too much in it for Shagarika to eventually reach and it will be a goal kick Bangladesh is pressing with so many players in the opposition half has given Nepal moments of worry especially when they've attacked with four to five players up front, sometimes switching from a 3-3-4 or a 4-3-3 formation into a more 3-2-5 formation in attack in possession. Now we can once again see Bangladesh looking to attack and this could be danger for Nepal. The goalkeeper is off her mark and what a miss! Shagarika, she had an open net to aim at. Wanted to take that shot. Didn't have her balance right. And eventually didn't get good contact with the ball. And we've seen the Nepal goalkeeper Sujata Tamang being forced off her line for the second goal. And it's a ploy that Bangladesh have used. And I was just talking about it in the way Bangladesh have made their formations aggressive when they attack with the 3-2-5 formation at times getting an overload this time defended though by the goalkeeper Sujata Tamang he will boost it up long in midfield and it will be a throw in eventually for Nepal Seno Priyar doing a good job there Time and opportunity for Nepal for the first and it's in. Nepal get the first goal and is there a comeback on the cards from the visitors? It's that girl once again, Shukriya Mia, who scored the goal and you could see Shukriya Mia, the bounce of the ball favored her in the end it was coming towards the keeper eventually it stood up and almost spun back towards her and that allowed her to get her kick and 
the shot in on target. Bangladesh now find themselves in the spot of bother. And that could have been more danger for the hosts. The pass eventually going to the uh, Nepal attacker who's down at the moment. And it's the goal scorer, I believe. Yeah. Shukriya Mia. But she'll be counting her lucky stars and be saying thank you and Shukriya for the way the ball spun back towards her to help her for that goal. But they needed a bit of luck. And right now, Nepal, they will count on her. Hopefully, to make a difference. As we see Bangladesh making a substitute. And Sri Moti Trishna Rani. She's the new player in. I wonder if the coach is going to go with a more defensive setup after conceding. But given what Sri Moti offers, that might not be the case. Eventually, some nervous defending from Bangladesh's number five, the captain Afida Kandakar. She deals with it and doesn't give away the ball in a dangerous position. Now Bangladesh looking to attack once again. Looking for that loose ball inside the opposition half, inside the opposition D-box. Two of the three goals have come from such loose balls. 50-50s, which was won by the attacker and pounced upon. This Nepal team, they can sense that Bangladesh are putting players forward. The defenders are playing a high line. And they might have an opportunity at a second goal. Nepal are in this, are in this battle, that is for sure. Their captain, Sara Bajracharya, coming in midfield to help in attack. But now, this opens up space for Shagorika, who has the ball in a good position and gets it in and Shagarika scores her second goal to give Bangladesh back their two goal advantage the referee is uh, pointing at her cards though I wonder who that yellow card is for but once again a brilliant Maisie run by Shagorika dealing with the defender dealing with the goalkeeper Sujata Tamang beating her and then also beating her defender Maya Maske to put the ball in the back of the net. She was very impressive last year with her performances and so far she's only gone from strength to strength as we can see in the first match of this South Under-19 Women's Championship 2014, 2024, beg your pardon. At this moment, some sloppy work there by Bangladesh is number 14. The substitute who came on, Srimuti Krishnarani, giving the ball away, but the defenders, once again, Joanna Bibirita, doing a good job. And now Bangladesh attacking from the right flank with Shagurika there. Puja cutting inside, inside the D-box, perhaps. Looking to score one herself. Again, possession with Bangladesh. Shopna Rani passing it back to the captain, Afida Khandagar. And now join the Bibirita. The pass that she had not going well. And one of the players, one of the Bangladesh players are down. There will be a stop and play perhaps. Seems to be down with what looks like cramp hopefully. And nothing more serious. It's just the 59th minute in the match though. And she went down without any, any other player tackling her. So 
this could be a bit of a concern. Bangladesh football ultras. They've made their presence felt with the colors and the drums. Now then, this does not look good at this moment. Mm -hmm. We saw plenty of injuries last time around and the ultras, as we can see, they're enjoying themselves. The players taking a quick drinks break and it's not looking great for Bangladesh's number six, Munki Akhtar. She was one of the goal scorers. Now, it looks like it's just perhaps a bit of a twisted angle and nothing worse than that and while I say it Nepal are in attack from the right side looking to take advantage take that one player advantage they currently possess as Munki gets treated Chagravika from the left now loses the ball but the defender Join up Bibi Vita. She hoops it forward. Nepal now moving forward. They're looking to feed the ball to their number nine. She's already scored a goal. Shukriya Mia. Talented player. Bangladesh go back with possession. Bonna Khatun passes it back to Shopna Rani and all the way to Munki Akhtar. Now Shagorika once again inside the D box. Can she get her pass through? Well, it goes out for a corner. Chagorika has played really well in this match so far. We were talking about the exploits of Iki Khatun in the first half. From her fullback position, having to defend and attack. And have all those throw-ins now. On the right side, Shopna Rani. She will take the corner kick. Right for the player. So you expect her to curl it away from the goal. And that's a good corner. The keeper misses it. Bangladesh is number 20. Just came in. Nabriyan Khatun. She is the new player in, and she is replacing Munki Akhtar, who unfortunately is down with an injury. Hopefully, it's not too bad. A long range effort. Wide of the post. and almost in hope from Shopna Rani. But Bangladesh right now still in command of this match with a 3-1 goal lead in the 63rd minute. Sujata Tamang has had to work very hard in the Nepal penalty box to save all those shots and deal with a barrage of attacks from the hosts. In, but wasted eventually. Not sure what Join Abibi Vita wanted to do there, but the kick goes straight out of play, and it will be another goal kick. In midfield now, Nepal once again, as I said. They have a particular game plan which they've stuck with and they manage the goal as well. But this time Bangladesh back in attack with that cross from the right side by Pooja. In fact, it was by Nabiran Khatun, the new player in. Not the best of crosses. Bangladesh looking to hit back with another goal. 
and two substitutes trying to combine Srimati Krishna Rani and Nabiran Khatun. Like the two players in for Bangladesh. But it's Shagorika who will take all the headlines so far. She's got two goals and getting into dangerous positions consistently. The cross not very good now on this occasion by Joanna Bibirita. But she makes up for it by taking back possession. Gives it back to Shruma Jannat. Passes it back to Shorna Rani Mondo. Now we can see the right back, Iti Khatun. Passing it forward. Bangladesh playing some lovely football here. Looking to attack from the right flank. And there is Shagorika inside the D box. Very close to the goalkeeper. It'll be another corner for the hosts. Another substitute here. This time it's for Nepal with their number four, Ganga Rokaya, going out. And number seven, Samiksha Magar, coming on. It seems like the substitute is being a forced one as Nepal have one of their players down. Bangladesh we've already seen forced into one change in the second half that of Munki Akhtar one of the goal scorers number six she was forced off with what seemed like an ankle issue and hopefully nothing worse because she walked back up she got back up tried to walk it off and eventually didn't manage to do so So when Nepal are ready, there, there is some treatment going on in the sidelines, but Bangladesh will take the corner nonetheless, and it goes over the bar. That was a very good opportunity there for Shurma Jannat to hand Bangladesh their fourth goal. The ball came at a good height to her. She didn't have really any other players charging her, so... She had a full crack at that and managed to hit it off target. But then, once again, an attack coming from the left flank and Shagurika, she will chase after that. Srimuthi Krishna Rani, she's grown into the game. Joanna Bibirita earning her team another throw in. And it's one of the longer throw ins attempted which results in another throw-in for the Bangladesh women's under-19 team. And Joanna Bibirita this time gets her throw on target. Shagorika controls it nicely. But well defended there by Nepal. Only as far as Well, now that I say it, they have a very good chance now in the counter. The number 21, Lija Chan. She was the one going forward. And a really good tackle there. She seems to have hurt herself in the tackle. As she ran forward, Joanna Bibivita, in fact, was the one. Yes putting her body on the line against Leela Chan one of the substitute players in for Nepal in attack and it seems like Maya Maske is the other player that's down after that collision with Bangladesh number three, Joanna Bibirita. So when all is said and done, I think it will be a free kick for Nepal. Now can they get 
Goal number two from here. Jonah Bibita trying to signal to the referee that she's ready to come on. To deal with the corner kick, in fact. And Bangladesh deal with the corner pretty well. Nepal still have possession. And Divya trying to pass it forward. Again, Bangladesh defending very very well it's been a solid performance by the host so far we've got 20 minutes plus some extra time left to play though and you bet there will be more goals in this match the way it's gone so far the way this day has gone so far the first match offered up 10 goals so all of them were for India against a rather hapless Bhutan under 19 team and now in this second match the night match there have been four goals three for Bangladesh one for Nepal and now they're looking good for more Bangladesh attacking from the right flank but very good defensive work there excellent defensive work by Nepal and Nepal's number five she does the job Sarita Kumari Rath she's one of the new substitute players who have come in and the Nepal subs have uh, given them fresh legs plus a bit more strength in possession. That is for sure. If Nepal get another one, we might be in for a grand finale here. And that's what they're attempting. But that ball had way too much in it. Reaches the keeper. Shornarani Mondol. This could be an opportunity for Bangladesh, but again, letting the loose ball go through, not the smartest of decisions by Bonna Khatun. And now this is an opportunity for Nepal. The goal scorer, she was one on one with the keeper, Shukriya Mia. Very good goalkeeping, though, by Shornarani Mondol. Dealing with the danger, coming off her line. The pass there. Coming off. Number 14 for Bangladesh. Srimati Krishnarani. Substitution for Nepal. Jersey number 17. Senu Kariya is replaced. More substitutes coming on for Nepal. This time, though, Bangladesh. Can they? Make this attack count again. Number five for Nepal, Sarita Kumari Nath, has been colossal in defense. She's done a great job in dealing with Puja. And whatever threat there have been from the Bangladesh counters. And you wonder why she didn't start the match. Because she looks like she's one of the best defenders on the pitch right now. Bangladesh though still had possession before Nepal. They are finding a way and now a counter could be on. That pass though didn't have the right weight on it. Chuma Vishwakarma couldn't pass it properly perhaps the aim was to give it to Leela Chand who has the ball now Bangladesh gain regain possession and they're controlling things nicely there seems to be a few tired legs though Nepal seem to find that extra step with the substitutions they've made but here's one substitute for Bangladesh Krishna she's moving forward and eventually runs it out of play Srimati Krishna Rani wanted to perhaps go through but couldn't control the ball and it's going to be a goal kick for Nepal's goalkeeper Sujata Tamang Nepal looking to build but finds 
only join up Bibirita and now Bangladesh have an opportunity to make something here. It's number seven, Shapna Rani. Seems like she had been fouled. She's down and not getting back up though. Join up Bibirita. It's been passing it back to Shurma Janna. Some good skill there being shown by Uja Dash. Shaparani tries to pass it forward. But now, once again, Bangladesh get possession back. There have been moments in the second half where both teams have looked good on the counter and it's been a game of counter and countering the counter by Nepal and Bangladesh but this time the cross is good there is an opportunity not what Nabirat Thakur was expecting and now Nepal they can get back on the counter but the referee decides Side. Roman Kanika, the referee. A look forward towards Shagorika. Back Roman. Nabiran Khatun, in fact, uh, had the ball. Hasn't really made much of a positive impact since coming on as a substitute for Bangladesh. Waiting in anticipation. We can all hear the drums. They want to begin this tournament with a win. Shapna Rani. Ramna Khatun. Join up Bibirita. Once again, Ramna Khatun. Moves it forward, looking for Nabiran Khatun. Ball goes out for another throw in. I honestly feel there have been more throw ins than the number of minutes played. That's the sort of Tetchy affair it's been between these two teams. None really getting a big advantage over the other. We're reaching the final moments in this match. 12 minutes plus whatever is added on an extra time. And the fans can sense that. They're waiting in anticipation. Some good work done in midfield there. From Nakato. Zikiti Khatun. Pujadas looking to pass it forward towards Shagorika, but now. It's the number nine of Nepal who showed some trickery there and goes down. Looks to have hurt herself, Shukriya Mia, and that will be a big blow for Nepal if she is injured because she is one of their best players, if not their best player. Seems to be an external blow. So she's fine, back up and the match can resume. Seventy-nine minutes almost done. Nepal won Bangladesh three in the SAF under nineteen women's championship two thousand twenty-four. From the Beer Stretch to Shohid Shipahi. 
Mustafa Kamal Stadium in Dhaka, Skomlapur and now Nepal. They're finding themselves in good positions. Can they attack from the left? The cross does come in. Well defended by Munki Akhtar. In fact, on this occasion it was Afida Khandogar, captain of the team. She might feel a little aggrieved to have missed her penalty. Other than the missed penalty, honestly. She's had a very good match in defense, keeping things tight and solid. And apart from that one goal, which was very good work by Shukri Amiya and also some luck involved, Bangladesh really haven't conceded big chances against Nepal. It's been Bangladesh who have created all the big chances against Nepal and scored from three of them. They could have had more. There were opportunities in the first half, especially in the early moments, where they hit the post twice, and that from a free kick. And after that free kick, there was another opportunity, which also ended up hitting the bar. So on three occasions, Bangladesh have hit the post. They could have easily been six for one against Nepal on the night. But so far, What's important for them is to stay up, stay ahead and win the match. Get the points because they will have a match against India and they will have a match against Bhutan. The other two teams that played early on. Remember all teams will play each other once and then from there the top two teams with the most points will play in the final. So we'll bring you all of these matches live and exclusively on Sportsworks and you will see it on Bangladesh television for those who are living in Bangladesh and have availed their services. Another free kick for Nepal. The number 11, Maya Master, taking it very nicely. They're looking to build from the left side. Once again, Shukriya Mia going down. She's not looking good right now, looking in quite a bit of pain and holding her knee and leg. This does not look good for the goal scorer of Nepal. Now what caused it, we have to see. Oh, she pulled up. She pulled up. She pulled up and this could be her tournament over. I hate to say it, but when it's, a, uh, when it's an injury which doesn't involve much contact, you fear the worst. And I said it just a while ago that for Nepal this will be a massive blow because she is one of their best players, the goal scorer in this match for Nepal. Plenty of people in, in the ground enjoying the football on a Friday night. The dreaded stretcher is coming out to take Shukriya Mia out. Has been the first time we've seen it today. And we hope it's the last, given the number of injuries that happened in the last tournament. Plenty of talk about the nature of this pitch. And also ACL injuries just in general being a more common thing in women's football and we hope it's not that sort of an injury because that can keep you out for a long time but looking at Shukriya Mia it doesn't look positive it looks very bad she's covering her face and now Nepal currently down to 10 players they haven't subbed anyone on
that would be a big blow for them. Bangladesh, they continue looking for the fourth goal from the left flank. Marma gave it towards Joyna Bibirita. Couldn't get the pass. It wasn't the best of passes from Marma. And again, it's not the ball. This time it's Shagorika who's down. There seems to be some sort of issue with all the goal scorers in this match. Two out of the three goal scorers are out injured. Shagorika is the only goal scorer in this match who's still playing. The other two, Munki Akhtar and Shukriya Mia are out with injuries, which is very unfortunate. And quite a weird coincidence that the goal scorers are the ones who are getting injured. So free kick for Bangladesh, looking to take it direct and a bit more height on it. Would have seen the goalkeeper Sujata Tamang struggle. But she did a very good job. Bangladesh still on the attack, but ref signals that it will be a free kick for Nepal as Shagorika came from an offside position to take the ball. And now once again, Chagorika trying to control it. Puja Das was up front. Now Bodna Khatun. And the attack is coming from Puja. She passes it back. E.P. crosses it. And eventually, Bangladesh regain possession but at the cost of being offside Sujata Tamang she will take the goal kick Nepal's intensity has tied down a bit especially after that injury to their goal scorer Priyamiya who went down and out of the match it remains to be seen how long she's out for. The next match is in a day's time. They get one day rest and then it's a match. And then another day rest and then it's a match. So three group stage matches in the span of six days. And with the final four games in eight days team that reaches the final will be quite the achievement and wins it will be even bigger because four games in eight days 90 minutes is no easy task and right now it's no easy task breaking this Bangladesh defense but all are trying their hardest so far they've managed the one goal, looking for goal number two and three and perhaps more to overtake this Bangladesh lead. Once again, Nepal in possession. Number 21 has looked very bright since coming off. Lila Chan. looking to see off this match we're not seeing any real concerted effort from them to attack they want to perhaps make sure they hold on to the lead but I could be wrong Shagorika inside the D-box has an opportunity takes the shot perhaps giving it back was a better option but now the referee she signals it's a, it's a foul as we can see Shagorika she's coming forward Looking for her hat trick, in fact. She's already scored two. There will be bigger challenges ahead, especially with India looming. 
Bhutan perhaps won't be as big of a challenge. Once again, Bangladesh looking to maintain the dominance in possession, trying to win their duels. Nepal desperately running out of time. Just a minute left before extra time is added. They will need two goals to get at least a point out of this match. So, once again, in possession, Bangladesh. Bonakhatun passes it forward. This time, towards and that's a good pass you feel but the goalkeeper was alert five additional minutes while Bangladesh look to make more changes we can see two players on the sideline and this could have been dangerous for Bangladesh but the ball reached one of the Nepal attackers Nepal still in this their number nine. The two players coming in. Number two and number eight. And very interestingly, Sri Muthi Krishna Rani came on in the second half is subbed off. So the coach clearly sending a message that your performance wasn't good enough. It's for Saifu Variti too. Taking the tough decisions, taking the harsh calls. Now Nepal once again can they find themselves in attack and get themselves another goal well that's a great sight for Nepal and their fans as their number nine Shukriya Mia is back up and running this is an opportunity for Nepal well defended in the end you feel yes Bangladesh they managed to deal with the danger and now they can go on their own counter-attack. Shagorika. The ball unfortunately runs out of play. And that will be that. Three more minutes left in this match. Field Bangladesh half one foot in the winner's position. Firmly planted. Another throw in. Nepal trying to speed up what they want to do. Fortunately, they make a mess of it. Sara Bajracharya with that misplaced pass, which resulted in a throw in for Bangladesh. And now they're looking for goal number four. This could have been an opportunity. Especially from the right side. There were players empty. Looking for that ball. Sujata Taman with the goal kick. And now again Nepal are looking for their late goal and it's the goal scorer Shukriya with the ball losing control though and Bangladesh can they find one last counter attack in them the ball is very nicely controlled by Nabiran Khatun on this occasion goes out of play eventually so it will be a goal kick for Nepal she just couldn't keep it in we 
into the final minute of play. And Bangladesh are edging closer towards a victory. Nepal might have one last chance to attack here. Dila Chan trying to keep it in. Earns her team. In fact, Bangladesh get the throw in. Thirty seconds remaining on the clock. Fans a bit more relaxed, enjoying themselves. They know that Bangladesh have secured all the points in this match. Perhaps their goal defense isn't as good as they would have liked. They will have a match against Bhutan where they can fix that. And India will face Nepal. So this time, it's a free kick for Nepal. And then number 19 goes forward with the free kick. And the final whistle is blown. Bangladesh win against Nepal. There's one last cheer from the crowd. They enjoy it on a Friday night. Thanks to a double from Shagurika. Bangladesh get a 3-1 win. There was a goal from Munki Akhtar. He went down with injury. And in the end, there was another goal scored by Shukriya Mia from Nepal and at that moment when Shukriya Mia scored the score was 2-1 there was a lot more drama in the first half especially with Bangladesh captain Afida Khandukar missing her penalty which would have put Bangladesh 3-0 ahead but eventually it was Shagorika who did the job and both teams, they line up in the end. And this is how it stands. The table, India on top with one win. Bangladesh level on points, but behind on goal difference. Nepal third with no points. And Bhutan at the very bottom with a minus 10 goal difference. And the top two teams, when all teams have played each other, will advance to the final of the South 119 Women's Championship 2024. So this is the final score. As I was saying, Nepal won Bangladesh 3. Two goals for Shagorika. One for Munki Akhtar. And for Nepal, Shukriya Mia with the goal.